Hello, my name is Eddie Lynch from Bovi Genetics, um, based here in County Cavan. Here we run an export approved residential unit where we house donor cows and provide a full ET service on those donors. Um, also, we flush here on a daily basis from farmers who have completed programs at home and take in cows on the day of the flush and provide all aspects of the program. Why do we want to flush a cow? Embryo transfer, a lot of benefits um, in certain ways. If you have a genetic superior animal and you want to um, increase the value of that animal by multiplying her progeny, or you want just uh, an insurance policy that if anything happens or you, you have something as a backup, um, ET is a facility which can provide all that. Also, it's a, a very good backup in worst case scenario if uh, you are hit with a disease outbreak. Some of your best lines in the herd may be disposed of through that and if you have some embryos frozen in your tank, it's a great insurance policy. The first thing the farmer should consider when contemplating doing an ET programme is, is first of all identifying the animal that he wants to flush. Results can vary greatly depending on the type of animal you're flushing. When identifying what type of a cow is suitable for flushing, I like to see a very fertile cow. The farmer themselves needs to identify the good breeding cows in their herd, the cow that can breed good progeny and potentially make them money. When I identify a donor that I flush on my own farm, the number one thing will be calf quality and that I know that the resulting calves in the ground can make money. After you've identified your cow for flushing, um, next step is plan. Talk to your society, your relevant breed society, find out what regulations there is from their point of view that needs to be completed. Don't end up with embryos frozen in your tank and not be fit to utilise them because of um, certain criteria via the Department of Weather and Bee Society. Um, after that, make sure your cow is cycling, make sure she has been pre-scanned and make sure everything's okay. Um, and then the big one is nutrition. Make sure your cow is getting plenty of energy, adequate energy. What I try to do is all the time, um, low protein levels, high energy levels. Pretty basic, pretty simple, but once you follow those rules, you can achieve good results. Ideally, I'd like to see cows suckling calves or milking cows calved a minimum of three months um, before we start them on an ET program. And if considering doing an ET program on a cow, uh, either sucking or in milk, um, just ensure that appropriate energy levels has been achieved.